Howdy friends. This is my latest find right here. This is a 1944 Auto Union GG400. This thing is a two cycle generator. This is a World War II uh, piece of equipment right here for charging uh, batteries and radio equipment and uh, all types of uh, armor like uh, tiger tanks and stuff like that. That's the information that I found on the internet right here. This thing is an Audi. You see the four rings right there. Auto, or before Audi, it was Auto Union Group right there back in the day. There's a selector switch right there. 24 volt, 32 volt right there. 400 watts, 4800 RPMs. This thing is a pretty neat little piece of uh, equipment that I found up here. Uh, searching through my, rummaging through my favorite spots right there of uh, finding used engines and stuff like that. So anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a 25 to 1 ratio. Uh, that Bosch number right there, that's your plug. Two and a quarter liters of fuel, and it will run for three hours right there. Everything on this thing has a four ring symbol, meaning Audi right there. Here's where you do your hookups for your positive and negative on your thing right there. There's carburetor, pickcock. This thing weighs 60 pounds right there. Uh, with a 12 volt battery, you hook it up right there. And you push this button right there, this thing becomes a starter generator during cold times. You know, you could start this with a battery. Looking at the side right here, we got a hand crank. Here's our points. This switch right here. This is run. That's high speed. Run and off. You can also, you can kill the power right here on the magneto right here you have a kill switch right here this is a choke there's the air filter if you look inside here you can see how that choke operates right there this all it does is, is Covers that hole right there. Heavy duty. That right there is that little plug right here. This is the oil site for your highest level oil inside here where this crank panel gear is. I'm not sure what these holders are right here. Maybe for the for some wires or something like that. It's not a fuse block. Some type of holder for clips. The ones that I've seen on the internet have not had whatever style of clips or whatever goes into this. All I see is this, this little holder right here. It's not the original fuel line either. I've I seen uh, another one that had the proper proper style right here there was a knob right here in between here which was the pickcock to shut the fuel off so this is not original right here underneath there but it seems to work looking at the top this right here 
is a flapper in the tank that will mix fuel. You pour your oil in, pour your fuel in, and then you can mix it right there. There's a strainer cup filter. This tank is rusty, super duper bad rusty. But I'll tell you what, this thing is made to run in extreme conditions right here. The tank needs a good cleaning. Auto Union AG. Right there, it gives you the type. Not sure. I looked with my Google Translator, so I found out what most of this stuff is right here. Cylinder, plug wire, right here. What I like is this exhaust right here. This thing come in a crate, or in a, not a crate, but a, a big steel case that had some writing. I seen one on eBay for sale. Or that it that it already sold right there, but this exhaust folds out right there. You know, it's a really nice mosquito deterrent because she smokes like a chimney. Operating instructions on the back right there. Actually, this thing come with two different style tanks and about three different style of carburetors. I found all that stuff on the internet there nothing in the u.s i haven't seen nothing in the u.s so i don't i mean somebody brought this thing over from world war ii uh you know everything i found on the internet is all in german pretty neat little uh piece of equipment the thing like i said weighs 60 almost well it weighed 57 pounds on the scale right there this handle will uh you pull out the handle will fold in you push it in and it catches that gear or and then it automatically comes out right there what i like is i think they made somewhere from what i read somewhere around 2.4 million of these this run right here was 1,308,000 and 42 but as we see right here let me zoom in on this a little bit well, we can see it or not there's a Luke Waffle or third Reich symbol right there the eagle with a little swastika down there at the bottom and some writing right there there's a there's a there's a star with a, a round circle with a star, but it's hard to see, but it's right there. Pretty much uh, this red color right here, most of these things were painted black, or I suppose out in the desert, they were painted a, a tannish color you know for desert pattern or whatever like that it was either but I'm, I'm thinking that this red is the primer that was underneath all this stuff right here because most of these like i said is that o od black or or that yellowish color or a tannish color like that this thing puts out voltage it's easy to crank once I figured out how to keep it running like that. I had to file the points. I filed the points and got spark when I cranked it over. And, uh, you know, small engines, you need combustion, air, fire, fuel. Pretty neat little tool here. 
Uh, I actually seen a picture of this installed properly in a Tiger tank right there. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. They vented the exhaust through the turret and or through the, you know, certain parts of the tank. It had incoming, it had clean air in and exhaust out, you know, if you had the proper stuff to do it with, you know, but they run these things inside of a tank right there. It's pretty quiet, but still, with that noise in there, inside that steel hole, you know, it's got to be kind of loud. Well, let me crank it, crank it over here, and I'll give you a, give you a little bit of, of running time. Gotta turn it on. Got a heavy duty muffler on there. It's, it's semi quiet. What I do after I stop it is I turn that pitcock off because it seems like it floods. It's hard to start. She'll start back up. Once she's warmed up, she'll start right over. Watch. turn her back off kind of a neat little uh, I tell you it's it's made to run in extreme conditions the fuel in this thing like I said the tank is rusty I put some fuel in there and uh, once I got the carburetor cleaned I took that carburetor apart cleaned the bowl there's very basic stuff in there I mean it's it's not a diaphragm carburetor style or whatever I don't know what you would call it but I tell you it's uh you know they they had it engineered back in them days 
So there you go. Auto Union GG 400. I would say there's not too many of these in North America at all. So lucked out on that find, huh? All right. Take care, fellas.